We're trying to head to this place right now, but we have to go through a very snowy road. It's snowy today. John won't save John us, won't save but us? He, can, he won't save us, but he'll probably call someone that could. He knows people. Let's see the, yeah, let's right. go. Let's do it, let's, we got let's this. Just try it. Oh! <laughs> we're in a Subaru Crosstrek right now, so we're hoping it can handle it. So oh, far, yeah, so good. So right over these woods over here is Dundas Castle. I can't even see it, but you guys might not be able to with the camera. Whoa, that gate is Narnia. That is Narnia. Let me take a right, right? Yeah. You guys yeah, that's Dude. So that's the main Parking. gate to the castle. Whoa. There's footprints? Yes, right here. Oh, yeah. oh dang, you're right. Whoa! It snows up to my knees right now. So not bad of a walk. We're just trekking through like two feet of snow right now. But it looks like other people came here too. We can see some tracks up ahead. I did it. Nice. It's possible. If there's a will, there's a way. Remember that. Oh, this is insane. Too funny. I was, I'm not huh? Wow, we might have to cross this to get to the castle, but I think we can just walk through here and get to the back. That's a deep fall. Big thank you to our newest patron supporters of the week. Shout out to Christine H, Maria Crew, Cynthia Cohen, and Cindy Rice. If you also wish to support the channel, head over to the Patreon link down in the description below. Turn perks and a shout out in next week's video. Alright everyone, finally made it to the front of the castle over here. You know, I haven't said the history about it yet, but this place is something really crazy. It's like out of a fairy tale movie. And I love a band castles. This has been on my list for years. And specifically, I never really came here because I've always wanted to explore this place with lots of snow you can get some amazing photos of it. So this place was built as a summer lodge by Brandon Lee Gilbert in the early 1880s with his wife who named it Craig E. Clare. Now here's the thing, this place has multiple names. It's Craig E. Clare, uh, Dundas, and the Mason Castle, each named differently from previous owners. Now the name Craig E. Clare came from Gilbert's wife, who was a Scottish native that reminded her of a small town in Scotland. After Gilbert passed away in 1911, the land and lodge was sold to this guy named Maurice Sternbeck before coming into possession of Ralph Wurst Dundas in 1915. Now Dundas began construction of the castle soon after but never lived to see it completely because he died in 1921 while the estate was in final construction. Now here's where the history gets crazy. Second generation family Dundas and Josephine had one daughter named Anna. Anna inherited the fortune that had passed her from her mother and father she had such a huge portion, but the castle caretakers ended up taking and stealing some of the money as her guardians at the time. Eventually, she went on to get married and moved to England with her husband on an expedition to find St. John's Gold. The couple fired the historians and scientists who were helping them in the search and hired a mystic 
with a magical wand? I don't know, this is some crazy fairy tale history that you would never expect to even happen ever. Eventually, Anna's mentality was questioned as well, and soon after, she ended up going to a sanatorium too. Ever since the Dundas family, this place got taken over by corporations or the local town. Over time, you know, the firms or the companies or the local town would use this as a summer camp. It was also used at one point by a Masonic retreat when this place was bought by the Masons. Besides that, there's some rumors that, you know, some dark stuff happened here. Uh, some say that the lake nearby is covered in blood when there's a full moon. Others say that this place is haunted by Josephine Dundas when she used to live here. They say that she got locked up in like a room upstairs of the castle. Other than that, the interior is gutted, but there's still some unique stuff inside. I don't know if anyone can get inside. I only came here to focus on the exterior, but if we can get inside, I'll definitely show you. You want to stay until the very end of this video to see everything. And I'll be stating more facts and information along the way. But right now, you guys, get pumped, get excited, and smash that thumbs up button. Let's go. Look at this, you even have like this tower. This is like on all four sides of the castle. I bet you could even get to the top from the inside and just watch over. I don't see any history on what this could have been made for. I don't think it had any expectations or uses for like war or anything. They really just, I guess we're from Scotland and they just, they just love European architecture and they just wanted something to kind of remind them of home. There's a huge trail over here. We went on the opposite side. It really reminds me of Elda's Castle. But I think, if I had to choose, I think Elda Castle is kind of cooler than this, to be honest. This castle is more of like a wide castle, while Elda's Castle is more of like a vertical one, you know what I mean? And with that one, you can get to the top and see an amazing view. Well, I found an entrance. It's probably a dead end. Whoa! This thing's made of ice. It doesn't lead anywhere. Or maybe it did. But the downstairs basement must be flooded. That's wild. You have a broken door here. I bet there is an entrance from here. But yeah, it's just frozen. Doors like welded shut. I'm pretty sure all the doors that you'll be seeing are completely shut off. So I just made it in the back. This used to be a huge courtyard, I bet. It's pretty empty. They should like put a, a pool or a fountain behind here. Now the crazy thing is that no family has ever lived here since the Dundas family. So it's been almost a hundred years since then. Until today, they don't use it for anything. It's just rotting away, sadly. I'm kind of worried. I don't know what I'm stepping through. There could be a hole for all I know. I want to check this out. Oh, I thought these were stairs. I think they were stairs at one point, but they completely took it down. Or it just crumbled. 
you can kind of see the creases on the side of where the stairs used to be. I like these little statues on top. It's those tiny details that makes this place really cool. So this right here is the shot that everyone comes to see and take a photo of. Um, this definitely is my favorite side of the castle too. I mean look at it, you got the pointy towers, it really feels like I'm in Europe or something. So right now, I'm behind the castle. I guess you can call this the courtyard. It's really big. I'm surrounded by walls that are almost like 30 feet tall. Unbelievable. Take one. We should all do them Maybe next to each I other. Will. We should just connect snow angels. Aww. We could connect snow angels. That's, so That's, cute. Cute. That's snow really connection. cute, Radic. <laughs> you Bye, you devils! You're blending in. Island devils. No! <laughs> he will be here forever. This actually feels really good. I know. Is like, it like a, a weighted blanket? No, no, yeah, it like traps your warmth but, underneath, right? Yeah. It does. It really does. This is a good way to hide. Dude, honestly. Someone shows up. Kind of body. It looks like we, yeah, it looks like we just found a frozen body. Yes. We found a frozen body. Right there. Where am right I? There. <laughs> Those mini windows. Don't move. That Steve. makes that like gone. Don't move. Stay there for the whole day. We'll grab you tomorrow. He's been here since the castle was built. We just uncovered yeah. him. <laughs> we just Dude. uncovered this. We're gonna pray that window. Oh, the wanderer was found here. <laughs> we found the wanderer. He's buried in the snow. He's gone. Only his. I want to go in. Torso's kind of there, and his camera. Dude, this feels things. so comfy. You want to sleep here? Oh. I'll grab you this a blanket great. from my car. I'll probably freeze to <laughs> death. So right now we're trying to find a way in. We've pretty much seen most of the architecture from the exterior. It would be really cool to show you guys the inside. We go inside when we see an opening. That's doable. So far, no luck. But Oh, right, it got in. There's a lot in here, right? Well, not, there's nothing here, but there's like a fireplace. Harry vibes. Uh, is that a Harry Potter symbol? I, I'm not sure, maybe. <laughs> All the way down. I'm gonna shut up for this part. Damn, Radix just keep going up and up. Yeah, I'm on the top of the Dude, you're on the top. Radix, how do you do it, man? Alright. Yeah, keep up the good work. Bye, Rapunzel. I just like how his head just randomly pops <laughs> out from a, like, a random window. <laughs> Ooh. 
Yeah, I did. It's the bottom of the, oh, whoa. This is the very bottom. It's like a little Harry Potter's crevice underneath the stairs. But he would live in an arched fancy room. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, I think this is a dining room. It's big, it's grand, it's got, it's got these designs all over it. Yeah. Oh my God, no! Is that a tunnel? Okay, let's just see what this stuff is. Got a boiler. Got more boilers. I don't want to go up that. I'm going to shit up for this part. Radic made it back. Mm, I did. How was, was it? Of, there was some scary graffiti in there, honestly. Really? But everything else is pretty empty. What um, makes scary graffiti? Uh, it's like red yeah, and like really, like really demons? poppy. Yeah, it looks like demonic. It looks really demonic. Damn. There's like pentagrams there too. I think there's even a Harry Potter symbol. The circle and triangle and the wand going through. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so someone actually <laughs> You would that. find that here? And, uh, Did you find some room? Because apparently uh, Josephine Dundas, the wife of the, the wife. guy, was locked in one room before. That's how the story goes. There was this one room with a metal door. Yeah? But that's it. I don't want to talk about what was inside because you don't want to know. Whoa. <laughs> do you <Bro>. think... <laughs> Why are you hiding from us, yeah, Radic? You don't want to know. So do you think I that she was sorry. locked in there? Huh? Maybe, maybe it was the room that she was locked in, I'm not sure. It was the one room with a metal door. Dude. Or with a, a, with a really heavy door. Okay, um, Radic. Whoa. All right guys, my mistake. We've been saying that there's a blood lake nearby. I think this might be it. Not really a lake, but a river. Maybe something that doesn't flow, I don't know. I think it's just flowing like this because there's so much snow, but usually it's just like this. So this is the so-called lake that becomes blood red when there's a full moon. But we're gonna end it here guys. Hope you guys really did enjoy this video today. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button bell, give a massive thumbs up and leave your comments down below. I would love you to hear your thoughts. Also guys, cop yourself the new hoodies, freedomxmorning.com. Go and shop, the link will be down in my description. Amazing vibes, amazing friends. Exploring this place was incredible. I absolutely love castles and I hope there's more that we can explore here in America. It's always rare to find them here. Hopefully one day, you know, travel restrictions will lessen. I can just go to Europe and find more castles. But for now, we're going to check out some of the castles here in America. Thank you for watching, guys. And remember, don't forget to live a life of freedom wander. And I'll see you all in the next adventure. Peace.